Today, we're going to work with YouTube's API in a little project that will take the current number of subscribers and display it on your website in real time. Now, there's two important things I want you to know about this project. I'm a programmer, and if you have a website and you have a database of information that you want to display on your website, then I can do that. And then secondly, is every social media site is a database unto itself of your content. And if you have a programmer like myself, then we can kind of tap into that database and display it on your website. All right, so let's get right to it. Today I want to introduce you to the YouTube API. By creating a small project that uses the YouTube API to update the subscriber count on my website. All right, first on my website for my business, the Uni's Production, I show a couple things that I do like search engine optimization and content marketing. I list my YouTube videos. But on the website itself, I have a section dedicated to YouTube marketing, which shows the subscribers, the video count, and the views. Now, this is hard-coded into the website, so this is not being pulled directly from YouTube. So when the numbers change, I have to go back into the website and update these numbers. It'd be nice if all these were just pulled from YouTube. As you can see, my YouTube channel has 828 subscribers and the website only shows 819. So today's project is going to be to interact with the YouTube API to update the statistics that's listed on my website in real time. All right, let's just say that you have your YouTube API. With this link right here, you can put this right into the web browser and it'll return some information about our YouTube channel, like the number of subscribers, total videos, and the current view count. Now we'll use the same web link and embed it in a PHP script that will post the link and return its values all in one action. All right, here's the return of that action. You can see the results coming from YouTube on the page itself. And if you go to YouTube, you can see the same information. Surprisingly, working with the YouTube API has given us more accurate information than what's displayed on your YouTube channel. This information on my website shows 819 subscribers. So we're gonna go ahead and add this code to the page itself, which I already did. And now I'm gonna write, I'm gonna echo out this, and I'm gonna put subscribers, and I'm gonna upload this file. Now what this is gonna do, it's, it's gonna pull the data from YouTube and display it. So if I refresh this, okay, we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna see that it now displays 828 subscribers, the videos are wrong and the number of views are wrong. So we're just going to go ahead and program that in to the page itself. And I'm going to do video count. I'm going to do view count. Now the benefit of this is that I will no longer have to update this and it should always give me an accurate statistics of my subscribers, of the videos, and of the views on my website. Now, you'll see that I have 828 subscribers, 243 videos, and 374,000 views, which is the same as here. So this is interacting with YouTube's API. It's actually more accurate than YouTube is actually displaying. I don't know why there's some latency. That's a, a little example of working with the YouTube API and what you can get out of it. We'll be showing you some more tasks and some more benefits. But um, if you need any type of programming, if you have any idea that you want to integrate your website or your company through programming, through APIs, with some social media sites that you got, then please visit my site, theunis.com or contact me in this video's description. I'll be happy to help you realize those dreams.